Hey there, Silver Liners. My name is Chrissy. Welcome to this Lean Thighs Quick Fix. You may be doing this as part of a series in our Bar Basic series or just as a standalone workout. Whichever it is for you, I am going to hit you hard, get those thighs burning, give you those gorgeous long lean thighs. That famous bar burn is coming your way. What do you need? A mat on the floor, a sturdy chair or a steady surface. And please make sure you can see me and that you listen to your bodies. I'll be giving modifications and advancements the whole way through. So without further ado, let's make our way to the center of your space. Take the feet a little wider than hips. Draw the arms up, inhaling deeply, and then exhale, curl on forward. So we're connecting mind, body, and breath with these first few breaths. In a moment, adding a little squat and a forward fold. It looks like this. We squat and curl. We lift and reach. We squat and sweep the hands to the floor, then lengthen high. Maybe give yourself a little smile because you've already done the hardest thing, which is to press play. Let's make it happen. Two more. Curl and reach. Sweep and lift. Last one. Draw the hands to prayer. Bring the feet together to touch. And we take a lift and a lift. So these little leg lifts are designed to start to get you in your core. Press palms together. Roll those shoulders back and down. A little higher now. Up and up. Now, could you move your arms out? Find a little press. And we push those arms forward. You push, push, push. So it's as though you were pushing away any negative thoughts. Yes, silver line, is you're finding that open chest. We're adding a curl in four, three, two, scoop deeper, we go scoop, scoop. So this curling action is going to open up the spine, get that heart rate higher. We're going to spike your metabolic rate as well as getting those thighs working for six, five. We're going to raise the roof team in four, three. Can you push those hands to the ceiling? It's up. It's up. Your gaze could go high as well. Maybe those legs could go a little higher. Try it for four more. Four. Breathe, breathe. Three. Shoulders gliding down the back. Two. You've got this one. Set the toes out wide. They're pointing to the corners of your space. Slice down and then bring your hands all the way up to your temples. Lean to the side. Come on center. Now my goal for you is for that elbow to touch your knee. That might not happen today but make that an aim. Wherever you can, opening up the chest, keeping those abs tight, ribs knitting together. Could you take it on the beat? It goes side, center, side, center. So right away, you'll notice we're in what's called an isometric hold. That means your thighs are starting to burn. That is what I want for you. So stay in it to win it. We've got four, we're also getting those obliques. Three, two, Last one, come back to center. Just find a little pulse, draw the shoulders back. Option now is to start to lift your heels just off the floor, maybe a little higher, maybe sink the hips a little deeper. Good, can you feel that little shake, that little bar quiver? That is your body changing. Stay with me, team. You've got four, then a hold, three, then a hold, two, then a hold. On one, we stay in stillness. Maybe those heels could rise a little higher. Could you reach your arms up as well? If you're feeling wobbly today, those heels can stay grounded. Everybody find stillness for five, for four, to go deeper. Three, yes, team, two, and one. Push on up, give it a shake, grab your chair or move your mat to a steady surface. I'm gonna show you on the angle, just so you guys have all the information. Heels come together, toes are a fist distance apart. You're gonna face your little surface, rise the heels and lower. So we're about a forearm's distance away. Take a moment to check that plumb line through the body. So head, hips, heels, all one line. We're not forward or back. We're trying to find our balance. So maybe light fingers. Four more rises. Three more, then we're going to get into the meat of the situation. That is your thigh burn. So heels stay high. You're going to walk them a little closer together so your heels are touching. Slice your knees down until you make a big diamond. Who doesn't like those, right? And from there, we lower. Down for two, up for two. Now this is a couple of inches down, a couple of inches up. Top tip, squeeze your heels together. What happens? Oh, it all picks up your pelvic floor. So it's up and up, down and down. Now my bar warriors, anytime you want to, hands could come to prayer. Are we starting to see and feel that thigh burn? Up and up and down and down. Beautiful team. Let's take four more. 
maybe staying in a lower range than feels comfortable. Let's get comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> Two more. All the way down. Last one, stay in your lowest point. Tiny knee wrap, back and back. I'm gonna get closer to the camera so you guys can see. It's a knee wrap, knee wrap. Do that with both legs. Not only are you getting your thighs now, you're getting that little tush as well. I love a double whammy. Maybe testing your balance. Eight more here. Good, it's four, three. We're gonna take two wraps down, two wraps up. It's town wrap, down wrap, lift wrap, lift wrap. Notice we're staying in that shake zone, yes? If you are shaking and quaking, you are doing it right. Could your abs get tighter? Could you breathe more deeply? Breath is your friend, for sure. Good, let's take four more sets here. It's four down, two to wrap up. That's three down. Oh, I'm gonna test that balance again. How about you? Yeah, nice. Last one here. We're gonna go single count as low as you can go. It looks like this. We're down full range. We're halfway hold. We're down full range. Now, if your knees are sensitive, go to a depth that feels doable. Don't have that sharp, tweaky feeling. We're gonna take it single count in three, two, one. It goes drop, hold halfway. Drop, hold halfway. Maybe test your balance. Woo, no hands. Now, if you're new to bar, don't worry. That bar is there to support you. But your thighs will now be burning, and that's absolutely intentional. If you need to shake it out, step back in. It's all good. Four more. Yes, team. Three. We're transitioning to a curtsy in two. Scoop those abs. Last one. Everybody stand tall. Lower your heels. Stay in your V-shape. Reach your left leg behind you. The knee is rotated out to the side. The big toe is on the floor. Everybody slice down. So I'll show you from the front. Toes are pointing outwards, knees are pointing outwards, hips and shoulders are square to your surface. Lower for two, lift for two. The weight is even between front and back leg. So check out where you are, and then maybe hands back to bar. Down to two, we go down. Some of my warriors, you know who you are, get that knee all the way to touch your mat, but not at the expense of your posture. Yes, so no forward leaning, no bum sticking out. We want to keep this beautifully contained and connected. That way you'll get great results. Four more. Beautiful breath. Three. Yes, team, you're rocking it. Two more. Whoo, I can feel that shaking. Last one, stay at the bottom. Back knee only. Left knee goes, little wrap, little wrap. You remember that wrapping sensation? You had it before. Dial into it again, find this muscle memory. That's why Bar Basics is so strong, because you're gonna build all the knowledge, all that muscle memory will be in there. Maybe testing the balance now. We've got eight, that's six. Lowering down and up in two. That's three, two, one. So it goes wrap down, wrap down, wrap lift, wrap lift. You'll be pleased to know we're not here for long because my thighs are burning out. Let's go four more. And I've got a little cardio fun for you guys. I like to raise your heart rate as well as give you those technical details. That way you're gonna get fantastic results. Last one, stay low. Lift your left arm, draw elbow to knee. It's elbow knee, curtsy. Elbow knee, curtsy. So that curtsy position is your kind of stopper. We're gonna speed it up if you wish to in three, two, one. It goes, pull. Notice my right knee is still deeply bent. It is the right leg that is getting the burn now. Yes, team, eight more here. Eight, that's six. Breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, one. Done, second side, I'm gonna move my chair. You don't need to at home. Bring your heels back to that V shape. Send, right toe back. Bend the knees, slice them down. Remember, knees and toes are pointing 45 degrees. Hips and shoulders are square. We're down for two, we're up for two. Now your hands can be resting but know where your weight is. You want it even, and then lengthen your waistline. Imagine you're coming through that tube again. Good, breathing, exhale as you go. Four more. So this second side is mind over matter. I know your thighs are tired, but it is at that point of fatigue that we start to create lean muscle. That is what I want for you and myself, yeah. Last one, hold it at your deepest point. Little wrap, little wrap. So just the back knee isolating that little wrapping action. So you're getting thighs 
and seat. Get a little lower. I know the temptation is to creep up. I see it in the studio every day. Get low, low, low. Four, then we're taking it up and down in three. Option for hands to prayer. We'll keep them on that bar. Let's take it wrapping down. It's down for two. It's up for two. Now tuck the pelvis a little. Give me that plumb line again. Most of us revert to this. It's not very effective. So reset, find your beautiful posture. You've got four. Then we're coming to that fun cardio bit, yes? Three, you remember that one. Aha, uh -huh. wrap the ribs together. Two more. Aha, uh -huh. you've got this. Last one. Arm to sky, knee to elbow. It goes pull, curtsy lunge. Pull, curtsy lunge. Four more slow. You could stay slow, that's all good. If you're kind of coming back to your fitness, that's all good. If you're with me, find the beat. Catch it. Yes, team, pull. Pull, pull towards your goals. Stay low in that left knee. Yes, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get rid of the chair. Come down onto your mat. If your knees are sensitive, grab a towel, place it underneath them or a cushion. Your knees are two fist distances apart. I'm gonna show you on the angle. Hands come to prayer. And we slowly sit back until our hips are hovering one inch or fist off those heels. We tuck, tuck hold. Now what's the tucking action? It's your core, tuck, neutral, tuck, neutral. You're not sticking the tailbone out and we're gonna find it's gonna shake and burn so deeply. Four, the surprise is it's a killer. <laughs> Two more. Now take those arms with you. So it goes curl, sit back, curl, curl. This is what you did with those leg lifts earlier. So familiar movement, but now major burn through those thighs. Should we take it on the beat? Push, 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 push. You've got those tight abs, curling the spine, breathing out. We're gonna raise that roof team in four. That's four, three, two, take it up to the sky. It's lift, 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 lift. Can you take your gaze up? Can you give me a smile? Can you let those shoulders pull down? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoot forward, find a forearm plank. Squeeze the legs together, heels, inner thighs and knees, hugging. We bend, we stretch. I wasn't gonna forget about those inner thighs, was I? No, can you tuck your pelvis deeper? Breathe, team. Eight more here, it's eight. Your heart rate is high. I'm deliberately slowing you down here. So this is active recovery before our final thigh set. We're standing in four. Beautiful, three. You've got two. Last one, child. Ah, take a moment. Roll on up, take your hands behind you, open the chest. Make your way to standing by hooking your toes under, walking the hands back to the feet, rolling up smoothly. Last set, stay with me, team. Toes to the corners. You did this before. That wide second, bring your hands, elbows to hips. We reach up and up, down and down. Up and up. Now we're slicing knees over middle toes. Just like a curtsy lunge, the wide second is all about that external rotation. So we're working glutes, we're stretching inner thighs, and we're getting that final burn for those thighs. A little faster now, pull, pull. So we're staying low with the hips. Imagine you're pulling down on some bands, pull, Pull, if you want more, you're starting to lean it forward, lengthening the spine on that ski slope angle, getting your glutes. Eight, six, we twist in four, three. So final little spot of cardio and thighs. It's twist, it's twist. Imagine opposite elbow hugging into your navel. Yes, team, eight more here. It's eight, then a hold. Six, it's four, three, Two, final push, come back up to upright, sweep the arms high, option to lift the heels as well. Find your stillness. It's eight, seven, then we stretch, six, sit deeper, five, how are those thighs? Four, three, two, and on one. Rotate around towards the right, left heel lift, just sink a little deeper, bend and stretch the back leg. You're gonna feel a beautiful stretch, elongating those very muscles that you've just worked. Whew. Come through your center, other side. So, tucking the pelvis under, bending and stretching the right leg. Just feeling that length for the hip flexor, length for the thigh muscle. 
Oh, yes, that heart rate is high. You did so much great work. From there, feet come parallel, slide the hand down. See if you can catch your calves or ankles. Let the head go heavy. Good. And as you bend the knees, roll your way up. Draw your hands together. Give yourself a beautiful round of applause. Guys, it's been my absolute pleasure to guide you through this lean thighs quick fix. I hope that you'll be joining me on the bar, on the mat even, here at Silver Linings very soon indeed. See you soon.